Hi friends. Would you like to make your own prokaryotic soap? Maybe with tools and materials you can't find in your kitchen. Well, today your dream will come true, because I am going to show you how to do it. First of all you need some ingredients. Here they are. Number 1. Scissors. Number 2. Rubber gloves. Number 3. The plastic container for gifts that you usually find in Big Easter chocolate eggs. Number 4. Tweezers. Number 5. The sponge cloth your mother, or maybe your father, uses to clean the kitchen. This yellow one looks fantastic. Number 6. A ton of hair jelly. I am sure you use tons of it every day of your life. Number 7. Lentils. Don't worry, if you don't like them, you won't have to eat them. Number 8. Pipe cleaners. Well, maybe your dad smokes the pipe. In this case you can ask him some of his pipe cleaners. These ones are nice and brightly colored. Number 9. A plastic bag for preserving or freezing food. Number 10. A very strong glue. Be careful when handling it. Number 11. A palette knife. My assistant Lori will help us to make a wonderful prokaryotic cell. First of all Lori takes the scissors and the two halves of the plastic egg. With the scissors Lori is now cutting out a piece of plastic from one half of the egg. Watch carefully what Lori is doing, kids. Be careful with the scissors, Lori. Then she spreads some glue on the edge of one half of the egg. She places it inside the other half and presses in order to bond the two halves together. She will not touch them again until the glue dries hard. As you can see she has just finished making the external part of the prokaryotic cell. She soaks the yellow cloth in water so that it fits the egg inside better. Now she inserts the yellow cloth inside the egg to make the cell wall. Glory is very good at making prokaryotic cells, isn't he she? Then she also insert the plastic foil inside the egg pressing it against the yellow cloth. Lori has just made a nice cell envelope complete with cell wall and plasma membrane. Now it has time to fill the egg with hair jelly. Guess what hair jelly stands for? The cytoplasm, of course. Lori cuts off the extra cloth and plastic to make the prokaryotic cell look nicer. She keeps on cutting the cloth and uses the scissors to flatten the upper surface of the cytoplasm. She uses two red pipe cleaners to make the DNA and RNA. Now she adds the lentils. What are the lentils supposed to be? Plasmids and ribosomes of course which are inside the cytoplasm. Inside the cytoplasm there is also an undefined nuclear region called the nucleoid, do you remember? Now Lori adds the flag Ella. She uses two black pipe cleaners to make them, and she glues them to the egg. Of course Lori needs some more glue to stick the flag Ella to the cell. Lori cuts some pipe cleaners into tiny bits and glues them to the egg too. They are the peely. Be careful Lori. You are wasting all my glue. Now Lori uses the palette knife to flatten the surface of the cytoplasm and make the cell look nicer. Our prokaryotic cell is finished at last. Doesn't it look great, my friends? See you later with more extraordinary biology activities. Bye bye.